Hey everyone, it's Ellie Mae with Swift Creek Customs and today I wanted to share with you this neat project that has been so popular we've been seeing them everywhere. So it is a mini desk calendar and here's a look at the one that I made up. So I've just used a calendar file and I'm going to show you quickly how you can customize this for whatever shapes you are using and you use the same exact steps for every single month. And then you can customize this exactly how you would like it. I took images from the Leonardo Design Studio Library and added those for each month. But I'm gonna tell you, this is really, really easy to do. So let's come over here. Here is a look at my working file. So this is everything I've created. This was my first page that I printed. I did try to print at the 12 by 12 registration marks and that was not able to be done. I'll have another video on that out later to show you what to look for, but I just moved the registration marks in and then printed on my 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. So it took two sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock, and I'm going to show you how you can easily design this yourself. So I'm going to come over to a new design tab, and then I'm going to come over to file open, and I am opening a calendar file that I purchased. And I'll put the link in the description below if you want to use the same one, but you can use any calendar file that would work for you. Um, there's different styles out there. So I'm just going to open this SVG file here. And when I do, I'm going to, it was originally designed for a print and cut in Silhouette. So I purchased this from the Silhouette Design Store. I am going to bring it in as editable artwork. And I'm going to click apply. And that's going to bring in the whole calendar. The first thing I want to do is I want to choose ungroup. So then I can come in here and I can select the 2024 and I can delete that. And then you have to decide what size you want your calendar. My calendar was a width of three inches total. And then I used, and I'll show you how I did this. I didn't want it to go over four inches tall. So I'm just going to move this off to the side here. This is currently, they're all separated, so you want to make sure to keep those together. So I'm going to right click on this and group them all together. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to choose draw shape and just click on my mat and I want to draw a square. And then I'm going to change this to three inches by three inches. And this is going to be dimension wise, whatever you choose to do. If you want to make it bigger, great. If you want to make it smaller, that's a little bit um, hard to see for people with older eyes like myself, but it's completely customizable for you. And that's what's so neat about this. So I'm just going to change this color to gray so you can see it on the screen, but it, eventually it will be white. And then I'm actually going to control C, control V and make a copy. Now this one I'm going to use as my sizing template, just so that I don't go over the height max that I want. So I'm going to change this to a little bit different color. And then I want to adjust the height to four. So I don't want to go taller than four. And that's what I'm going to use as my template. I can lock this so that it'll stay there. And then with my grouping of my calendar, I want to bring this over here. And I just want to use it to size my calendar and see how it's going to fit. So I'm going to first click on the little gray square here. And I want to send that to back order send it back. And then I'm going to use this grouping of calendars and I'm just going to scale that up until I'm happy with it. And that looks about right for each of my calendar pieces. And then I can kind of move this over here. Now I'm just going to show you how to do one month. So I'm going to right click and choose ungroup. And then each of these is going to be separate. So you want to make sure to keep your calendar and it's going to be file dependent too. So I'm just going to select this, right click, choose group or select both and control G. And you can do that for all of these. That's going to make it easier to work with. You can also click on the calendar part, hold your shift key down, click on the outer edge, control G. And quickly I'll group these together so they don't move. Okay, now I'm going to just pick a month. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna do August. And I can bring this over here. I'm going to select both of these and then I can center this. 
This is gonna give me an idea of what the base of my calendar is going to look like. Now, one neat thing here, and I'm only gonna show you how to customize one month, but before you start customizing, I highly recommend you Control C, Control V, make a copy, pull that original copy of your square, even though it's a three by three, off of your design mat, because you can start again with that if you wanted to create a new one in the future. And then the other thing I'm going to recommend is that you make copies of this. You're going to need 12 total. So you can either make multiple copies, Control C, Control V. You can come down into the toolbar and you can choose duplicate. So if I have this one selected, I'm going to choose duplicate. It's going to continue to duplicate those. And you can continue to duplicate those for all 12 of those. If you also have pro version, you have the tile array, which means that you could arrange them very, very quickly and you have 12 copies. So you wanna make sure to do that before you get started with your creations so you have your originals to go back to. Now, to customize this, it's really super easy. So we have our calendar, we have our shape behind it. I'm gonna come over here to the design library on the left and then I'm gonna scroll up and I'm just going to type in hibiscus. That's what I used for August and click on it. I'm going to choose open design. Now this one is a Leonardo Pro design, but you can search the entire library or you could bring in other files that you want to use to customize this. I used all of the Leonardo Design Studio libraries for mine. I'm gonna choose open and then I have my flower here. So what I wanna do first is I'm going to left click and drag across my calendar and my shape, and then I'm going to group those. And then what I'm gonna do is move this over here. This is in front. I'm gonna right click and choose order and send to back and zoom in just a little bit on this so you can see it. So I have two different shapes here. Let me change this one so it's a little bit darker. So this back shape that's four inches tall is the maximum height that I wanna go at for my calendar. You can choose whatever you'd like to do, but this was an easy way I could visually see it and be able to keep my designs where I wanted them. I'm gonna left click and drag across both, and then I want to center, and I want to align the bottom. Now, when I move my flower over top over here, I can tell how much space I have. So I know for August, my spacing was clear over on the right side because you can stagger each of your months as you go along so they're not all hiding each other. And once I have it placed where I want and I know it's not too high or too off to the side, I am going to come down here and click on this square. I want to ungroup this and then click on my flower. Choose the build contours and editable contour. And then you can choose what your offset is. Whatever you're using, whatever you feel like is the best. I'm gonna choose 0 0.043, that's what I've been doing. And then I'm going to choose white. So I want it to be a completely white background. And I kept the same offset for every single month on all my designs. So if you want to do that, make sure to remember your first offset so you can duplicate that for all of them. If I click apply, now you see I have a white offset around my flower. I'm simply going to select the offset, which after you create it, it is already selected. Hold my shift key down and click on the background of the calendar. Then I'm gonna right click and choose weld, paths, weld. Now it shows that that came in front of my calendar. That's not a problem. I'm actually going to click over here and move my template sizer. I can right click on the white and choose order and send to back. And ta-da, there's my calendar. Select everything and you can group it together. Now the final step before you go to cut is you wanna come over here into the layers panel and this is a grouping right now. If I click 
when I had it selected, it was a group that shows all of these grouped. So what I wanna do is this white shape here is my offset. I need to designate it as a cut line. So I'm going to click under that down arrow, choose cut tool. And now I have a blue border that is around where my cut is. That is my template square. And then I have my calendar, which is grouped to this outer border. And I have my flower, which is further down here. So if I want those all to be grouped together, select it all, right click and choose group. And then if I come up here and show you, I'll set it up as a print and cut with just one object. I'm gonna come up to the artboard, turn on my print and cut. My page marks, if I, I can max those out with the, I need to change this to letter and then adjust toggle page marks on and off again. And if I click on send, send artwork, now I have a printed artwork. And when I click here, I have my cutting contours. And then you just repeat that for every single month. And it's completely customizable. Use designs that you want. Make sure that your design is set to print and not cut. So you just, the layers panel is a very neat tool to get used to and see what is going to happen. So if I click on here, you can see I've grouped this together under March. If I right click and ungroup it, you can see my cut contour has a blue dot that is set to cut. My simple shamrock is set to print. Now here's a look at my actual project that I printed for the first sheet that I did and then I sent it through Juliet and she's being a little bit uh, testy today. Um, I've had to reset the um, registration mark and then click OK the first time right reading that bottom corner mark. I'm not sure what's going on with her but it registered and it cut just fine after I did that. It's a great option to have and quick cuts. So here's a look at that finished calendar. I hope you have fun. If you have questions, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell for notifications. Have a great day, and thanks for joining me.